What's going on everybody? This is Brian from sneakerfiles.com recapping the news and we have a pretty big video today. We got a lot of rumors going around and some pretty big potential releases for 2020. Now before I give you the breakdown, shout out to everybody who liked the last video. Like always, it's greatly appreciated and a big shout out to those that like this video. Now as for some of the highlights, we have rumors on upcoming 2020 releases which includes the Air Jordan 13 Flint, the Air Jordan 5 Top 3, and the Air Jordan 6 Hair. Now we do have quite a bit more from Jordan brand, a good amount from Nike, and a few things from Adidas. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Starting things off, we have official images of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Cloud White. Now this is the non-reflective version. And for those that don't know, there is a reflective version releasing, but the official photos on that pair has yet to leak. Now we've gone over both shoes a handful of times, so I'll skip that and get right into the release details. And the reflective pair is set to release on September 19th. As of now, the retail price is rumored to be 250. And then we have the non-reflective pair, which will release on September 21st, and that will cost you 220. Of the two, the reflective will be the more limited. We also have official images of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citroen in reflective and non-reflective. Just like the Cloud White, the reflective version will be more limited than the non-reflective. And there's two release dates. First is the reflective, which will drop on September 24th. Retail price is rumored to be 250. That isn't confirmed as of yet. And then we have the non-reflective pair, which will release on September 26th. Retail price for this pair will be 220. Moving on to Nike, we have a first look and a release that is coming very soon of the Nike Air Uptempo Light Aqua. Now this is a grade school exclusive and it comes dressed in light aqua, black and white. Aqua takes over most of the shoes and then we have black used on the large air, insoles and heel, and then we have white detailing. So as of now, a release date is expected to take place on September 6th and the retail price will be 130. Releasing towards the end of the month is the Nike Zoom Freak 1 Grease. Now this pair comes dressed in black, multi and photo blue. Photo blue mesh covers the entire upper while leather lands on the tongue and heel. Gold is then applied to the backward swoosh, medial side and tongue branding. Other details includes white on the midsole, Giannis's number of 34 on the heel, while both white and blue cover the outsole. Now for a release date, this pair will drop on September 27th and retail price will be 120. In the last video, I talked about one of the upcoming undefeated Nike Air Max 90 releases, and there's a total of eight different colorways releasing. The colorway I showcased was dressed in white and blue fury. Now we have a look at the white and solar red pair, as well as a preview of the black and blue fury, as well as the black and solar red. Now the theme is pretty straightforward on either shoe. It's either a white or black base. And then we'll have either Blue Fury or Solar Red accents throughout. In addition, Undefeated Branding will be seen on the heel as well as the Lace Jewel. Now, in the previous video, there wasn't any release information, just that they were expected to drop this fall. We do have a date as of now, and it has yet to be confirmed, but all eight colorways will release on September 20th. They will be available at undefeated locations and online, but at the time of shooting, it isn't known if they'll be available via Nike sneakers. Now, the adult sizes will retail at 150. Preschool will cost 90, while toddler sizes will Will retail at 75. LeBron James previewed a new Nike LeBron 17 which is being called 2K and the inspiration for the shoe is from NBA 2K20. As you can see this pair features royal purple throughout while the 2K logo is placed on the tongue loop. In addition we have a jeweled LeBron crown logo on the tongue while the lion's head is debossed in the background. Currently, release information is not available, but there is a rumor going around that this pair can be unlocked and then you can purchase part of the My Player storyline, which was produced by LeBron's Spring Hill Entertainment. 
Now, I do remember, I believe it was NBA 2K. You were able to play and then unlock, I believe it was the Nike LeBron 11 and purchase it that way. Now, remember, this is not confirmed, but it's just what's going around. But once there's more information on this pair, I'll definitely make sure to update you. Also, we do have a release date confirmed for the first Nike LeBron 17, unless something unexpectedly pops up before that. And the colorway will be in black and white. Now, according to Foot Locker's release calendar, this pair will be available on October 3rd. Currently, we don't have a retail price for the model. Before we get into some of the more exciting stuff from Jordan brand, we have new images on a few sets of shoes. The first one would be the Air Jordan 3 Knicks. Now, we haven't seen that many images as of late, and I did feature this shoe in the last video, and that was because there was a release date change. So if you missed that, the new release date is set for September 14th, and it was pushed forward, and the retail price will be 190. The second set of new images I have to showcase is the Air Jordan 12 Reverse Taxi. Now we've seen quite a few images in the past and with each set of new images, it seems like the quality that is of the photo is getting better. So I did wanna showcase this here. Also get your guys' thoughts on this shoe. For me, I definitely will be passing. Now, if you are interested in purchasing, they will release on November 9th and the retail price will be 190. Now this shoe is starting to grow on me more and more. At first I was kind of in the middle of it, but this is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG known as Fearless. Some people are calling this shoe UNC to Chicago. That's actually a shoe that will release in 2020. And it's actually funny because that's not even the official name of the shoe, it's just a nickname that I gave on that shoe while talking with an individual who showed them to me. Anyways, we got new images on this pair, and for those that don't know, they feature patent leather throughout, and the Fearless nickname is tied into the 10th anniversary of Michael Jordan's Hall of Fame induction speech. Now, there will be a full collection. There will be a women's release of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, and there'll be a few mids, and currently, we don't have a release date for this pair or any of the others. They are rumored to drop during holiday 2019, of course, and the retail price will be 160. Now, what is a bit odd, these images come from Flight Club. They do have, I think, one size available, which is a 10, and I believe they wanted $1,000 for it. So, kinda crazy, definitely not worth that, not to me at least. And if I do plan on picking them up, I definitely will be at retail or nothing. Now we're to the rumor part of this video. I'm going to talk about three upcoming shoes. Well, I should say potentially upcoming shoes because as of now, it's just a rumor. And first up is the Air Jordan 6 hair. Now, as most of you know, the hair colorway was first seen on the Air Jordan 7 back in 1992. And then I believe around 2010, maybe even before that, we started to see a lot of people customize the Air Jordan 6 using the hair colorway. And then in 2017, there was a rumor that the Air Jordan 6 hair would release. They were actually nicknamed that for a while. Turns out that they are actually known as the Alternate 91 Air Jordan 6. Now the rumor is that we will have a true to form Air Jordan 6 in the hair colorway release during 2020. Now, although the Alternate 91 did resemble the hair, there were some things that wasn't quite on point. Now, if I forgot to mention, this is a Photoshop, and one of the things that potentially could be included is the multicolor use on the tongue, which is also seen on the Air Jordan 7. I feel like that's a big part of a shoe being called hair. If you're gonna take inspiration from it, it needs to have it. And although this image shows that it features Nike Air on the hill, it isn't known if that will be included. And as for release information, we don't have any. So they're expected to release sometime in 2020, also rumored to retail at 190. Our second rumored release for 2020 is a new Air Jordan 5, which is being called Top 3. Now this of course celebrates the Air Jordan 5's 30th anniversary, and the Top 3 of the Air Jordan 5 will be like the Air Jordan 1. However, this pair will feature the original colorways that includes black metallic, grape, and fire red. 
Now, according to Mr. Unloved Ones, the fire red pair that will be used on this shoe is the Black Tongue. So as most of you know, the Silver Tongue is actually returning in 2020. So maybe that's why they're going to leave that off this pair. If I forgot to mention, there's going to be two sets of Photoshops. One is done by Jays Are Dead, so shout out to him. As well, they're also rumored to feature Nike Air on the hill. Now, although this isn't confirmed, to me what this means is if we have an Air Jordan 5 Top 3 releasing, which is rumored, and it doesn't include the Silver Tongue, that means that they're not going to release the Fire Red Air Jordan 5 Black Tongue just by itself, nor the Black Metallic, nor Grape. Now this isn't confirmed, it's just what I'm thinking because they left out the Silver Tongue. Now for the release information, there isn't any, just rumored to release sometime during 2020. And although a retail price is not available, more than likely this pair will cost 200. Our last rumored release to talk about for 2020 is the Air Jordan 13 Flint. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this release. I've seen numerous comments asking for a return of the shoe, and now, potentially, we have one. But to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of holding my breath. I haven't heard anything officially, and as of now, it's just a rumor. But this pair has been rumored to release every year since 2017. So 2017, 2018, and even early on in 2019. Don't get me wrong, I want this pair to return, it's just I'm not going to get overexcited until I hear something more official. Now apparently, this is going to be part of what's being called Truest to the OG Collection. I have no idea what that entails. I assume by the nickname that they'll look identical to the original release. And if it's a collection, then we should be seeing different models and colorways. If it is expected to be truest to the OG, they should feature 3M reflective, but again, that's not confirmed. Once again, we don't have a release date nor even a time frame. Just rumored to release sometime in 2020. Retail price is expected to be 190. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. Over the past several days, there's been quite a bit of news that broke. Some people, including myself, are excited about this news, but I'm really trying not to get my hopes up until there's at least a product number available because we don't even have that yet. When there's a product number or at the very least a sample created, it does give me more hope and there very well could be a sample created. We just haven't seen it yet. I'm sure you can expect more 2020 rumors to come very soon. About this time of year, every year there's rumors that get circulated and I'm going to do my best to keep everything clear to let you guys know, hey, this is a rumor, this isn't confirmed, just so you guys know. And like always, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Let me know in the comments section below which pair you are looking forward to. And if you haven't done so already, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.